what's up everyone it's your bro super bro zulfi welcome back to another video today it is june 27 2024 it is the launch day for luigi's mansion 2 hd which for those of you guys that don't know it's the 3ds game dark moon that they're bringing over to the switch and they're upscaling it making it look nice and pretty and in today's video we're going to be discussing is this game actually worth it is this game worth buying for the price that nintendo is trying to sell it for and my quick answer to that is no because if the answer was yes i'd be making a completely different video right now i would be making a launch day vlog like i do for all nintendo games where i go out to the store i buy the game i bring it back unbox it show you guys the box art and whatnot since we're not getting that video today my answer is no but I'm going to go into details and explain to you why I don't think Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is worth it for the price that Nintendo is trying to sell it for. And I do have some things opened up on my computer that I'll share with you guys. So let's switch on over to our PC capture. So I have Nintendo's website open here. This is their official uh, page for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. As you can see, the game is out now. And they're selling the game for a full $60. $59.99 for the digital copy and $59.99 for the physical copy of the game as well. This is not a good price point for this game. Especially because it doesn't seem like they added anything new to the game. It doesn't seem like it's earned. I did look at a couple reviews and we'll look at them later in the video, but it didn't seem like they added anything to the game. They just upscaled the game, made it look nice and pretty and put it on Switch. And I don't know if they just assume a lot of people probably never played the 3DS version of the game and people might just buy it thinking it's a new game, which could be the case. I'm sure a lot of people are going to buy it that have never played the 3DS version of the game. I have played the 3DS version of the game, which is probably another... Um, thing that adds to why I don't think it's worth it for this price as somebody that has played the 3DS version but maybe if you've never played the 3DS version this could be worth it because for you it'll be a brand new game but I do want to pull up some other examples of remasters or remakes that Nintendo have done in the past where they weren't selling it for $60 they weren't marketing it as a full price game and I have all these tabs open as you can see. So the first one is clearly the GOAT when it comes to pricing. We got Metroid Prime Remastered. And right now the digital copy is actually on sale. So this is a bargain, $39.99. So 34 bucks for the digital copy of this game. And its original price is 40 for the physical. Let's click on that, 40 bucks. Great price point for the game. And they put in a lot more effort to upscale this because this was a GameCube game that they brought over to the Switch. And I think they added quality of life improvements and stuff into the game. So definitely seems like this game was more worth like a $50 or even $60 price tag. But no, they decided to keep it at 40 which just made it sell even well. Like more people ended up buying it because of the $40 price point. Another example... We got Mario versus Donkey Kong. This is a more recent one. This game came out this past February, four months ago. Another remake of a Game Boy Advance game this time around. Again, they're not selling it for 60 bucks. They're not treating it as a brand new game. They sold it for 50. 10 bucks, you know, less than what a normal full price game will go for. But for both the digital and the physical. And I ended up buying this game and I beat it, enjoyed it. Great price point again. I don't understand why Luigi's Mansion 2 is 60. Like they could have at least sold it for 50. I think 50 would have been a good price point for this game. Give it the Mario versus Donkey Kong treatment, sell it for 50. And I feel like this even took more effort because you were pretty much redoing like Game Boy Advance sprites. You had to basically recreate everything, right? Obviously, they probably won't sell it for this, even though this is the goaded price. At least sell it for 50, Nintendo. And knowing Nintendo prices, 
this game is going to stay 60 like for a long time its price is not going to come down maybe for black friday they might drop it for like a week or something but other than that it's staying at 60 because nintendo prices barely come down so my advice to people is to go on ebay to buy this game and buy it later so if you look at some ebay prices i brought up metroid prime remastered here um it's selling for about between 30 to 40 dollars so full price this game goes for 40. you can see the price drop down by about five to ten bucks not much but the, uh, but then again the game sells for 40 so you don't expect this game's price to drop too much another example mario versus donkey kong now this game is a 50 dollar game look at what it's going for now 30 35 dollars about so this game actually dropped like 20 bucks in value over the past um four months right here we even have a factory sealed version of the game us version selling for 40 with free shipping so that's 10 bucks less than what the game normally goes for 35 yeah so about 10 15 bucks cheaper this might not be a good example but another luigi's mansion game on the switch was luigi's mansion 3 and this game came out five years ago so again not the best example but this game's price is pretty much cut in half 31 dollars 35 30 dollars again some of these don't have the boxes but you can see you're saving about 20 to 30 dollars if you're buying this game on ebay and just for fun i did look up luigi's mansion 2 hd a game that just came out today and was looking for prices sold listings on ebay and even here it's selling for less than what nintendo is trying to sell it for you can see right here nintendo switch us north america version 53 dollars 70 cents with free shipping and i believe this is the physical copy yeah it says physical game right there so this is even like six seven bucks cheaper than what nintendo is selling for on the day of release right you have it again here again here 53 53 this is like 55 with the shipping but my advice to people is just wait it out because right now i think these are like game stores that are putting it up on ebay that have ebay accounts what you're gonna get in a month or two months from now is a bunch of people listing the game after they've played it they finished it they want some money back on it they're going to be listing this game and trust me this game will probably be going for around 40 bucks i can guarantee you that by like september this game will be like a 40 or 45 dollar game you'll be able to save like 15 or 20 bucks on this game if you wait and buy it in september or october which will probably be a better time to buy this game because of the halloween vibes that's another thing nintendo is celebrating summer ween apparently and they're releasing this at the beginning of summer when i feel like luigi's mansion 2 it probably would have done better if you just waited and sold it in september or october because then you would have people just capitalizing off of the halloween and fall vibes people would just be in that mood and they would be like i want a spooky cute game to play during that season and they would just buy luigi's mansion 2 hd just like on impulse but right now, you got people like me questioning, is this game even worth it? Because I'm not even in that mode yet, right? I'm not in that fall, pumpkin, spooky, Halloween-y, vibey mode yet. So, that's going to be my plan. Is I'm just going to buy it off of eBay when the game releases. Um, not when the game releases, the game released already. It released today. When the game gets listed on ebay i'm just gonna buy a copy of it pre-owned as well and the great thing about switch games is that a lot of the times they're in good condition even when they're pre-owned right games nowadays don't come with manuals so you don't have to worry about oh is all the manuals in there are the manuals in good condition usually it's just the game card and it's the box and usually they're in good condition i've bought plenty of games in the past for switch off of ebay I highly recommend it don't be afraid just look at the user's rating and usually if it's good you're good to go last thing i want to look at real quick before we hop off is just metacritic and let's look at what the game um is being scored at and right now there's a total of 
Where's the number at? Hmm. Maybe I have to hit back to see the number of reviews. Hold up. Okay, there we go. So there's a total of 55 critic reviews and it is averaging a 78, which is like a C plus. So not even a B game. 78 to me is an average score. It's an average game. Obviously you got some high scores here, like 90s, because it is a good game at the end of the day. But let's see what these people have to say. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is a remake with a modern look, but no real new content. content. There you go. Even though this person gave it a 90, it's this line right here, but no real new content. That makes this game not worth it, people. They didn't add anything new. It isn't a remake on the level of Metroid Prime Remastered or even Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which came out last month, where I feel like they added a whole bunch of stuff to it to make it worth it, right? They, they added quality of life improvements. So you can see that there's good scores here, because it is a good game at the end of the day. But I don't think it's a $60 good game. Like, especially for someone that has already played the 3DS version of the game. I'm just gonna kind of skim this. Let's see if we see anything that catches our eyes. Over here we have hobby consoles. It says Luigi's Mansion 2 HD may not be at the level of other remasters or remakes like Metro Prime Remastered or Paper Mario. I guess the Millennia Door is another name for the game. Yeah. So people are straight up saying it's not as good as a remake as the other remakes. Yet they're scoring it pretty high. Let's see what some of the mixed reviews are saying. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is exactly as it sounds. It's the second game in the series, very fresh coat of paint. Unfortunately, with the visual upgrades is a decent effort. It's ultimately still harbors the same design quirks that made the original game so controversial. Okay. All right. I've seen enough. I'm not. If you guys want to go and check out some of these reviews yourself, you can go to Metacritic and look up Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. But yeah, Nintendo needs to um, lower the price of this game because I ain't buying it for this much. 60 bucks is just crazy. All right. Let me know in the comments if you guys are picking up Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, if you're picking it up now, what's your reasoning? Have you never played the 3DS version of the game? Um, and if you're waiting, then that's probably the most like wise decision. That's the one I'm going to do. Another reason I'm not picking up this game right now is because I won't be playing it in the summer. Again, it's a fall slash Halloween-y type of game. So I want to play it in September or October, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy it in September and October. There's no point in me buying it now for full price at 60 and then just sitting on it for two or three months and then playing it in the fall. I'd rather just save the 60 bucks and then buy it off of eBay uh, in September or October for maybe like 40 bucks, like I said. Save 20 bucks and then play the game. Again, I still think it's a good game. I just don't think it's worth the full $60 price tag. And you already know your boy's going to be buying it and playing it on stream because I'm a big fall and Halloween guy. So this game's vibes are right up my alley. <laughs> anyway, I'm interested to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts on this game? Do you guys think it's worth it or not? Leave a comment. Let me know. I'm looking forward to reading the comments of this video. Also, make sure you guys hit the thumbs button, the like button. That definitely helps the channel. 
and make sure you're subscribed if you're not for more Nintendo related content. It's been your bro, Super Bro Zulfi, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Shh.